timely intervention is needed in Nigeria's health sector to save millions of Nigerians who may be forced to stop taking medication for one condition or the other due to rising cost of pharmaceutical products caused by growing inflation across all sectors of the economy. Most patients are seeking alternative means of treatment, including spiritual solutions to their various health problems since they can no longer afford regular drugs which are becoming too expensive. AIT News Health Correspondent Ogom Boom reports that mortality rates may continue to soar in a country already hit by serious health sector crisis if nothing is done urgently to make medical services more accessible and affordable for people. For Gloria Oko, a cancer champion, every day is a battle for survival. A daily routine is centered around the treatment as she relies on daily medications and her faith in God for healing. Cost is another major problem, and then, of course, accessing it. So um, sometimes you even have this money, you start looking for the medication. You won't even get them as at the time you want to get them, or you get a brand you don't like, and then the cost is the big elephant in the room. Right? So I started buying this at 456000 That was um, four months ago. But from last night when I went to buy it, it's now 586000 And I hear it has increased again. I don't know how much now. The drugs, should I keep them close to yes. me? Gloria's struggle is not unique. Nigeria faces one of the highest cancer rates globally. According to the National Institute for Cancer Research and Treatment, Nigeria has an estimated 127,000 new cases every year. However, the high cost of medication has led to a worrying decline in adherence rates. Parents like Jumoke are feeling the pinch as well. came to buy these drugs, but unfortunately the price has gone up. The last time I bought this drug, it was 1500 and now it is 2500 1000 naira extra on it. I can't even buy it because the money is not enough to buy it. I don't even know how I want to do it now. And my son needs to use this. The situation has been made worse by the recent exodus of pharmaceutical companies from Nigeria and leading to a shortage of medications and a spike in drug prices. Health advocates warn that the absence of these companies could reduce access to safe and potent medications, inflate prices further and increase the risk of counterfeit drugs flooding the markets. And uh, it's really, really very, very toxic because it's affecting a lot of our patients and uh, it's not something that you want to be old because medicine is life. It's not like any other commodity that you can just uh, forget about it. It saves lives. And when they come and they cannot uh, afford because of the high cost of uh, medications, it's uh, something that is pushing us also that are professional that are also giving them the care. But there is a glimmer of hope. On June 26, 2024, Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Professor Ali Pati, announced that President Bola Tinibu has signed an executive order aimed at boosting local production of healthcare products. The order introduces zero tariffs, excise duties, and VAT on specified machinery equipment and raw materials, including active pharmaceutical ingredients and other essential items. This move is designed to reduce production costs and enhance the competitiveness of local manufacturers. But is this a solution to the problem? But maybe I think government should just pay attention to this to, to drugs. How does it come in? Can we make people should it should come in for free? It shouldn't be putting it shouldn't be an avenue for you to, to raise tax on drugs that save people's lives. I think government should focus on how these drugs come in. So the government of the day can bring in policies where there will be subsidy for um, health care in health institutions so that Nigerians can benefit from this high cost of drug. Even the tariff that we're talking about, yes, the tariff on imported uh, API, what we call active pharmaceutical ingredients, that is what the government has done. But that does not translate to the running cost of uh, doing business in the country. Most of the company, most of the uh, facilities that gives health services to Nigeria, that cost is still there. In the meantime, pharmacists are urging Nigerians to consider purchasing cheaper, equally effective brands while the new policy takes effect. Caregiver, we advise them to step down to some of the brands that are on the high in terms of price. 
and we have them available. We call them uh, generics, unbranded products. They are relatively cheaper than the branded products. But that is not to say that they are not also on the high, on the high price compared to what it used to be. Gloria, Jimoke, and many other Nigerians are holding on to the hope that these changes will bring some relief. Ogon Izedimbo, AIT News, Abuja.